March Madness raked in millions of dollars for schools in the NCAA tournament, but for the first time, the players also were able to make money off of their appearances. The NCAA passed a new policy last July allowing college athletes in divisions one, two, and three to make money off of their name, image, and likeness. They are known as NIL deals. College athletes can make money endorsing products or posting about a company on social media. College football players take the biggest share of endorsement money, over 50%. But when it comes to college basketball, the women are earning more NIL compensation than men, almost 18% of endorsement money. For more, Ariana Freeman joins us now. She is a CBS Evening News associate producer who played college basketball at Louisville and Colorado. Ariana, happy Easter. It's great to have you here. You wrote about this on CBSNews.com, but before we even dive into your piece, do you wish that you had had the ability to make money off of all the hard work you put into playing college basketball? Well, happy Easter to you, Lana, and thank you so much for having me. Man, I wish that this uh, passing would have came just a year sooner because it is just such a great opportunity for these college athletes to take control of their name, image, and likeness. And I definitely wish that I would have had this opportunity while I was playing all those years. And were you surprised as you were researching this to learn that the women are making more than the men in NIL compensation? Oh, absolutely. An open doors and NIL tracking company made big splash in the sports news last month when they released new data showing that women basketball players actually rank second to football players um, in NIL compensation and endorsements. Of course, there's always been this stigma that male basketball players are more popular and, and they make more money than women athletes. So to see that data show that actually, hey, we're here, women basketball players are able to make money just like the men and even more so than some was huge. Why do you think uh, it's it's almost parody the women are making a bit more but why do you think that they're making more than their male counterparts especially since in so many other sports the the differential between what female players make especially in endorsement deals and male players is huge. Oh, well, I think it all comes down to just the marketability of women. Um, and that's how Open Doors gets all of their data and how they come up with these numbers. For instance, I spoke to Zaya Cook, who has over 228,000 followers on Instagram. And Open Doors ranked her third on the list of the top 10 highest paid players in the Final Four last month. And that's because they're looking at her likes, her comments, how interactive is she with her audience. Um, she's partnered with with Open Doors, H&R Block, Fenty Beauty, and that's really how they come down to these numbers and get these rankings, is how many people are following you, how big is your marketability, and for her, it's huge. What does that translate into in terms of numbers? Were you able to find that out, and, and what does she plan on doing with all that money? <laughs> well, I can tell you, Lana, that I didn't have to file my taxes until just this year. <laughs> so she is making enough money to have to file her taxes, uh, which she did last week with one of her partners, H&R Block. And so right now she has an evaluation of about $8,000 per Instagram post that she makes. Whoa. So say DoorDash, DoorDash, for instance, wants to partner with her and say, hey, you have a great following. How much you know, do we need to pay you to get one of our brands or one of our deals uh, posted onto your page? And she will say 8,000 buckaroos. Um, that's a lot of money. She tells me she doesn't even want to look at it. Um, and she's just worried about saving. <laughs> well, good for her. We hope she puts that money to good use. Uh, from what you've uh, you've seen in your research of NIL compensation, do you think that the money going to female athletes is going to continue to increase from here, level off, decrease? You know, I think the sky is the limit for women athletes, and especially now. Uh, well, let's just take it back to last year. The U.S. Supreme Court just passed this uh, this um, legislation saying that college athletes can make money off of their name, image, and likeness. So just in year one, we see that women basketball players are ranked uh, second behind football players in making the most money off of their name, image, likeness. And I only see this going up from here. Um, I think a lot of other 
women athletes, soccer players, um, baseball players, so softball players. Everyone's looking at athletes like Zaya, like Paige Beckers, who's ranked number one, um, and seeing how much money that they can make off of their NIL deals. And I think they're going to keep just poking and trying to see how much that they can make. Ariana, you mentioned that uh, that the Supreme Court um, was asked to weigh in on this. This has long been a controversial question about whether student athletes should be considered students first and as a result shouldn't be compensated. Um, but as we all know, there's still a long history of colleges paying student athletes under the table or, or other companies doing so, either in cash or other improper benefits. Does these new NCAA uh, rules have an impact on that? Has it allowed, uh, has it eliminated rather some of this under the table dealing? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's what really played into the Supreme Court passing this. Um, college athletes, college sports has forever been a scandalous uh, sort of category that um, everyone knows about. But the fact that they've passed this legislation, now athletes don't have to hide anymore. The fact that they have these companies approaching them, wanting to make deals. Um, these companies no longer have to try to slide money under the table to these college college athletes that they believe are going to make it to the league, be able to make a lot of money in the future and try to partner with them early, because now it's all out in the open. And to be honest, I think that this was something that was needed a long, long time ago, because these student athletes work so, so, so hard. And they do have a million followers, 500,000 followers. Zaya has over 228,000 followers. They should be able to make money off of their own name, image and likeness. Ariana, appreciate your reporting on this as well as your firsthand lived experiences. Appreciate you. Thank you, Lana.